Ever wondered why we call it a piggyback ride? Despite the mental image it may conjure, it's safe to say that most of us haven't actually ridden on the back of a pig. So how did this term come to be? The story begins in the 16th century with the phrase, pick pack. In those days, pick could also mean pitch. So, pick pack likely referred to a pack pitched on your back for easier transportation. Over time, this phrase began to describe anything or anyone carried on the back. But how did we get from pick pack to piggyback? It's believed that pack was frequently misheard as back, a logical leap given the context. Similarly, pick was misinterpreted as pig, largely due to their phonetic similarity. The earliest written record of pigback dates to 1736, according to the Oxford English Dictionary. The evolution didn't stop there. Pickpack, pickback, and pigback gave rise to pickapack, pickaback, and pigaback. This last variation was often mistaken for piggyback, and by the mid 19th century, the term as we know it today had solidified. Interestingly, an 1837 publication titled A Dialogue in the Devonshire Dialect offers another possible explanation. It describes piggyback as the way schoolboys would ride on each other's backs, straddling as an Irishman would carry a pig. This suggests that while piggyback rides may not involve actual pig riding, they could have been likened to pigs riding on people. The term piggyback has since expanded in meaning. It can describe the act of placing one thing atop another, such as a space shuttle on a rocket. In the trucking industry, piggyback refers to one semi hauling several others. Since the 1960s, piggyback can also mean to support or assist someone or something. In business parlance, piggyback off is often used to indicate building upon a colleague's ideas, though it's seen by some as corporate jargon best avoided. So there you have it. The evolution of piggyback, from a simple 16th century phrase to a versatile term used across various contexts today. A fascinating journey indeed.